training starts early. The first thing puppies should know at this age is the command, come. As they get older, they are introduced to chemical components used in bomb making. The dogs are rewarded each time they get it right. Eventually, they will be able to detect 12 different chemical components found in explosives. All are odorless to humans. As soon as they walk in the door of Moscow's Sheremetyevo Airport, the Sulimov dogs start their day job as indefatigable sniffers. They have no boundaries, leaping up wherever they can, taking in the smells, signaling the trainer when one is found. We teach the dog the following signals. First she sits, then she barks, and the last signal is for the dog to show where the smell comes from. Unlike German shepherds, which are commonly used as bomb-sniffing dogs throughout the world, the Sulamov hybrid searches without prompting, continuously. The German shepherd will never take its own initiative. The hybrid is never like this, because it's more independent and takes its own initiative. It has its own ideas of where to go and what to smell. And today is no different, except that on a routine sweep, the dog finds something, and as rehearsed, alerts the trainer. A second dog confirms the discovery. Officials start clearing the area as bewildered passengers look on. After several tense minutes, we learn that this is just a drill. No one, not even the trainer, knows when and where a planted item will be. Incredibly, inside this inconspicuous bag were trace amounts of an explosive chemical component amounts so slight, they were smaller than a grain of sand. And found by this dog. These dogs' sense of smell is so acute, they can sniff through things, like luggage, a sort of x-ray vision, only better. It's a man-made machine that doesn't break down. 